Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE dishwasher detergent and rinse aid dispenser. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at ApplianceParsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new detergent and rinse aid dispenser. The detergent and rinse aid dispenser is located in the dishwasher door and it dispenses the detergent and the rinse aid. The main reason to be changing it out is if there's a problem with it and it's not dispensing. We can open up the door and remove the six screws that hold the front panel onto the door. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Now that we have the six screws out that hold the colored panel on, we can close the dishwasher door. And then on this model, there's a screw on each corner that we have to take off. We're going to use a quarter inch socket to remove them. As you're pulling this screw out, you want to make sure that you hold this panel up so it doesn't fall out as you're removing the screw. Once you have the screw out, you can pull the panel off the dishwasher and set it aside. Now that we have the front panel off, we have access to the detergent and rinse aid dispenser. We're going to remove the two wires from the wax motor. We're going to use a small screwdriver to pop them off. When you take the wires off the dispenser, you want to make note of where they go. On our model, there's a white and a red one on the front and a red and yellow one on the back. With the wires out of the way, we can use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the six screws that hold it in. With the screws out of the dispenser, we can open up the dishwasher door a little bit and press it through and pull it out from the inside. Here's the old detergent rinse aid dispenser next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Before you put the new detergent and rinse aid dispenser in, you want to make sure you clean this area off so when you put the new one in, you get a good seal. To put the new one in, we're just going to set it into the door and hold it in place while we close the door, and then we can put a screw in from the other side to hold it in place. Now we can close the door and put the rest of the screws in. Now that we have the screws on, we can reconnect the wires. Remember on ours, the red one was on the back, and the white one was on the front. Once you have the wires reconnected, you can put the front panel back on. To put the front panel on, all you have to do is line it up so the lip goes underneath the control panel and push it up into place. Then you can swing the bottom half underneath, and we can go down and put in these screws with our quarter inch socket at the bottom. Now we can open up the door and very carefully lower it down and we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in that hold it together. Now that we have all the screws installed, we can close the dishwasher door. Now that you're done repairing the appliance, you can plug it back in, turn the water back on and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.